Hi guys, I'm here to talk about the controversy in the K-pop community at the minute about Spotify deleting artist streams. So the main issue is that various websites, especially Twitter, have noticed that a lot of artist streams are missing, which is obviously upsetting their fans. Um, and it's kind of being seen as a major PR issue at the minute because their streams are like gold medals to these artists and it's almost like all the hard work that they put in isn't actually paying off for anything. So the main impact this is having is on stakeholders of artists, fans and Spotify. Um, and this is mainly because Spotify don't seem to be doing anything to counteract this at the minute. This is kind of also a big fake news issue. Um, it can be causing different parody memes, uh, phony Spotify hate, and then conspiracies around the fact that this could be a purposeful sabotage, which is obviously not what Spotify want for their PR team to have to deal with. So in terms of information, you should be looking out for artist statements, K-pop sites like Soompi or Koreaboo are really good for posting updates on different crisis here. Um, there's also a lot of different news in terms of artist transparency and fans are demanding answers that they're not getting at the minute. Um, Spotify is also not publicly addressing any concerns. This can lead to lawsuits and boycotts and just a lack of trust in the platform in general. And because Spotify is typically quite a trusted website in terms of streaming, it's quite concerning that they're not doing anything to address these concerns. Um, but also that does seem to be a lot of misinformation around different fan sites about the credibility of why Spotify is doing this. A lot of people seem to think that it's because of, you know, some kind of agenda or a racial, you know, pushing forward of more, you know, Eurocentric artists or, you know, a hate against Asian artists, which is obviously a really, really big thing that Spotify do need to address. So I think going forward, the main thing that needs to be addressed is why these streams are being deleted, what artists need to do in order to get these streams back, and if there is any correlation in terms of, you know, race or, you know, obviously K-pop has its own genre, um, if it's a genre-based thing or if it, this is happening to other groups of artists and it's just not being recognised. So thank you guys for listening. Um, just make sure you're getting the correct information and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.